This is the daily video update for Wednesday, December 1st, 2021 for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. We're taking a little break from our regularly scheduled programming this morning to recognize World AIDS Day. The day was established in 1988, dedicated to raising awareness of the AIDS pandemic and remembering those who have died from the disease. As much as we have talked about the COVID pandemic in the last two years, for many of us, it is the second worldwide pandemic that we have experienced. Although AIDS followed a very different direction than COVID, it has killed over 36 million people around the world since its first outbreak in 1981. I mentioned a week or two ago in one of these updates that I had found a trove of old Peace Corps photos. I was in Bobete in the Kingdom of Lesotho from 2008 to 2010 at what in retrospect was a turning of the tide in the fight against HIV and AIDS, right as these curves started to move back upward. Antiretrovirals had been developed and in the year or two before I moved to Lesotho, the government and nonprofits there had started distributing antiretrovirals um, for free to the public. And so by the time I arrived and joined uh, a project that was already underway, the pandemic response had been, had become a question of public messaging, demonstrating how to get tested, emphasizing the value of treatments, debunking conspiracy theories, raising awareness by painting huge ribbons on the side of mountains for World AIDS Day. All this stuff that in retrospect makes the last two years in America seem very familiar. So today I'm reflecting on all the people that I worked with for those two years who dedicated their lives before I arrived in Bobate and after I left to ridding their community of this plague. The theologian Reinhold Niebuhr wrote that nothing that is worth doing can be achieved in our lifetime, therefore we must be saved by hope. Nothing which is true or beautiful or good makes complete sense in any immediate context of history, therefore we must be saved by faith. And nothing we do, however virtuous, can be accomplished alone. Therefore, we must be saved by love. Faith, hope, and love. With these things and with many years and with a lot of medicine, we can defeat plagues. See you tomorrow.